Hello YouTube and hello fellow viewers and welcome back to another episode of creating our 2D side scroller in Unreal Engine 4. I want to thank you all for the amazing support you guys have given me with the comments, with the shares, with the likes, um, and pretty much everything. It's really inspired me to really push these lessons and I have reaped great rewards which I will share with you um, at the end of this, this episode um, in regards to progress and, and things I'm very proud of right now um, in regards to how well our series are, is actually going. Um, however, enough with all the nice talk, we need to actually move into creating our second part of the bad things. And what we're going to do today is we're going to put the bad guy into our scene. And we're not going to bring uh, a sprite from the internet this time because you guys should know how to do that by now. So if you did want to bring your own characters in um, for bad characters and stuff, make sure either you do them yourself. Um, you can take them off the internet, but make sure you get rights if you're using them in a game. If you're using it for educational purposes, then I don't see there being much of a problem um, as, a, as I am using it for educational um, to display to you guys. Now, what we're going to do in this session is we're obviously going to put a bad man in. Um, we're going to give him some health and etc. Um, but we're also going to be able to do damage to the character. So the bullets are going to do some damage. So we're going to play with a few things. Uh, for example, we're going to make a new uh, blueprint for the actual bad man. We're going to tinker with our bullet blueprint that we created a few episodes ago. So we're going to change a few things in there. Um, and we need to modify just a few um, things that we have in our scene, um, especially with this part. And we'll see why. And I'll show you that there, there's going to be problems that you're going to come across um, with the shooting system that we have. Okay. So let's get straight into it. So we got to a point um, in our series that we created our character. He was quite happy. He could shoot um, and he could walk around. Our animations are all up to date. Um, and we made our spike system down here, which did damage to us which is not now for some crazy reason, which I need to fix. Um, it's probably because for some reason when I save after episodes, it's not updating, um, which is a bit of a concern. Um, I'm going to check on that and see why that is the case, but it might mean I have to manually save all the time um, instead of just closing it down and hoping that it saves for the best. But that did do damage. I will come back to that in a minute um, and fix that if needs be for this session, but it's not much of an issue for us today. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to create a blueprint. Um, and it's going to be a class, a blueprint class, and it's going to be an actor. And we're going to call this BP underscore Badman. Okay, so we're just going to call him Badman. You can call him whatever you like. But in this sample, we're just going to call him Badman. So we're going to add a component, and we're going to add a sprite to the component. Okay, so a paper sprite. And the paper sprite we're going to use is we're just going to use the um, Mega Man. So we just choose the first Mega Man that we have, just for the sample of of this episode. I mean, if you have your own, then obviously you could put your own and that's not much of an issue. Okay. Then we're going to add a component. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have a collision box around the, the character. So we're just going to type in collision. Okay. And we're going to use a capsule collision um, just for the character himself. Change it so it fits around the character. Obviously, you can tinker with this to make sure that it fits quite nicely. Um, that'll do for me for this, for this episode. Okay, and remember we want to get rid of this whole default scene root thing, which is a bit of a pain. So just drag your paper sprite and drag over that. Okay, which means we pretty much got our Mega Man and he's ready to go. Okay, so we compile and save, but that's not it. Because obviously we want to make this guy do something. Okay, we want to make sure that the character, so the bad character, can take damage um, and preferably die. Okay. What we'll cover in our next few episodes is how do we get the character to shoot back, um, so the bad man to shoot back at you, um, or walk towards you, or things like that, um, we will cover. Don't you worry, that will be coming. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go into the event graph for the bad man. Okay, now you've got to remember this concept. Okay, the bad man is going to be taking damage. Okay, so if you remember, the thing that took the damage the last time in our series was the actual character himself. And what we had to do is we had to create a variable to store the amount of health that that character had. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to make a variable this time to hold our bad man underscore health. And this is going to hold the health. Oops, I spelled that completely wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, health. I spelled that completely wrong again. Apologies, we'll forget about that. So the variable type that we need to change it to is we're going to make it easy. So let's go for an integer. So we have whole numbers. Okay. And we're going to give him 100 health to start off with. Okay. So we're going to start with 100 health. 
Now, this is where I said to you, you got to remember that this is going to be how the character is going to take damage, not apply damage, which is two completely different things. And this is where people get confused. So we need to create a custom event. Okay. And we're going to call this damage bad man. Okay. So this is going to be the damage that the bad man receives if a bullet will hit him. So there we go. There's the big hint. We're going to use the bullets to apply the damage, but we need to say how much damage go is going to be applied to the bad man. Okay. Now you could have added some inputs if you wanted to. So we could um, give him quite a few inputs of damage in, uh, in this, in this case, we could have done that. Um, and we could have applied, actually, let's do that. Okay. So let's call that, um, damage, uh, damage taken. Okay. So we'll call it damage taken and we'll change that to an, mm, let's just say integer. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we need to grab his current health. Okay. So we're going to take his health and we're going to set that. Okay. So we're going to set his health. So we're going to connect these two nodes up. Now these don't, these two don't attach together because that makes no sense if they're, if they're together. It just, it, it sounds silly. Okay. But what we need to do is we need to get his current health. So we're going to get his current health, which is set to a hundred that we can see here. Okay. However, what we need to do is we need to subtract that to that. So we're going to drag off there and say an integer minus an integer. So we're going to, take his health minus the damage that he's going to be, that's going to be taken. And we're going to set his new health. Okay. So any damage that he does take, um, we can subtract that from his health and it's going to be set to his new health. Okay. Now all we have to do is we have to say, okay, well, if say, for example, he gets to nothing, um, then obviously we need to do something. Okay. And to do this, we can drag off this node and say less than and equal to. Okay. So remember crocodile teeth and equal to, so integer is less than and equal to integer. And in this case, zero, which makes sense. So if he's less than zero, then we're going to do something. So this is going to be, um, as you probably know, it's going to be a branch. So we press B and click and we attach these two nodes. Okay. And just put these two together. So he's going to take damage. Um, the damage will be, um, reset to his new value. If it is less than and equal to zero, something needs to happen. And what we're going to do is if it's true, we're just going to destroy the actor. So we're going to kill him. All right. So you'll just disappear off the screen. So you'll just die. Okay. If it's false, however, we're actually going to print a string. And the reason why I want to do this, because I want to show you the damage that the character is currently taking. Okay. Um, and it'll, it'll display, um, every time it gets hit by, the, hit by the bullet. So it'll make sense once you see it. Okay. We don't want to print hello. That makes no sense. We actually want to print his health. So we're going to get his health. And we're going to print that out. So we're going to see exactly what's happening in regards to his health and see how much damage he's actually taking um, from the projectiles that are hitting him. And that's pretty much all we need to have in regards to how this is going to affect um, the actual bad man character itself. I mean, it's, it's that easy. So all we did was we made a variable for his health. Uh, we added a custom event, which will hold the damage that will be given um, to the character. And that's going to be in the form of an integer. Okay. Then we just said, okay, so damage minus, uh, sorry, his health minus his damage. We'll then reset the health value. If it's great, then or equal to um, zero, then obviously branch. If it's good, it'll destroy. If it is obviously more than zero, it's going to print how much health he's actually got left in the left hand side corner. Okay. Now, if I had to play this game, nothing's really going to happen. Okay. Because I haven't um, assigned any damage to the character. There's, there's nothing there representing any damage whatsoever. Okay. So what we have to do is we actually have to do our damage system within the bullet. Okay. So let's open up our bullet blueprint. So this one here, okay. So our bullet blueprint and what we need to add to the bullet blueprint is a collision box. Okay. Reason being is because the bullet needs to collide into something. Okay. So we're going to the viewport. Oh, geez. Hello, bully. You fairly close. Okay. We're going to add a component. So we're going to add some collision. Okay. Let's just do a sphere collision in this case and wrap the sphere around the bully. Uh, so that will do uh, a bit silly because if he was above the bully, um, 
you'll take damage here and here. I mean, you can tinker with that to get it just right if you want for your, your own game, that's fine. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can you can tinker as much as you like with this. Sometimes you wouldn't even use that. You might use a, um, a capsule. Uh, you might use, I don't know, maybe a cube. Uh, again, it's entirely up to you um, what type of collision you want to give this. But for now, I'm just going to use a sphere for the tutorial. Okay. Now, what we need to say is we need to say, all right, Unreal, I want the sphere, when it overlaps the character, we want it to apply the damage to the character. Okay, not to your character, but to the bad man character. And that's pretty simple to do. We're going to navigate down and we're going to go to where it says overlap. Now, a lot of you have been saying to me, Wayne, um, why are you not using the hit? Well, I don't really like using the hit because sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, but I always use this begin overlap. I'm going to show you a nice little cheat that we're going to look at. Okay, so on the begin overlap, hit the plus, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple event that's going to damage the character. Now, it is this simple. You couldn't get any easier than this. We're going to drag off here, and we're going to say cast to BP underscore badman. Why are we doing that is because we want to grab that damage event that occurred. Okay, so we want to grab that damage. And we're going to just attach those two together, so the other actor into the object. Okay. And we want to then, once that's casted to the bad man, we then want to attach to that damage system we created, so the damage bad man. Okay. Obviously, connect these two together, so the target to the bad man. And we can see how much damage this bullet's going to do to the bad man. Okay. Now, depending on you, you can give them as much damage as you like. Now, don't forget the character's got 100 health. So let's say the bullet's going to do five every time it hits the character. Makes sense, right? Uh, or you can make a really OP bullet. So if you give yourself a, a special up in the game, for example, you could probably do more damage depending on um, what bullet projectile you're using inside the game. Okay. However, it doesn't just finish there. What we also need to do is we then need to destroy the actor. Okay. Now, don't get confused. The actor we're destroying here is the bullet, okay, not the bad man. And this is where people get confused that, okay, well, you just said destroy the actor, but you've already destroyed the actor here inside the bad man. They are two different things. You can see the target is set to self, i.e. self for bad man. The bullet, target, self, so to the bullet. Okay, so let's compile that, um, save that as we do with everything else, and let's bring our bad man in. So let's go to our front view. And let's drag him in. So here he is, bad man. Let's drag him onto the scene. Okay, there he is there, just chilling, um, having a good old day um, sitting on the scene. So let's play and let's have a look. So we can shoot. We can see that's happening there. Okay. So if I happen to hit the target, now if I've done everything correctly, what you should see on the left-hand side is a print of how much HP has got left. So there we go. 95, hit him again. 90, 85, and it'll keep counting down until it gets to zero. So let's just keep going. So adding damage. So this is on five now. So what's going to happen is if I hit him again, he should disappear and die. So let's hit him. Dead. Gone. All right. And that's it. That's all there is. But I said to you that there's going to be a small problem here. Okay. Look what happens if I shoot again. I die. And look what happens. Now, if you remember correctly, I got loads of pumpkins in a row. And what that bullet is doing, it's actually going through all those objects. Okay. It's going through all those pumpkins and it's giving me damage. All right. And it's an easy fix how to fix this. All you have to do is go into your BP pumpkin. Okay. And we just need to change this here. Okay. Because I got the actual player character in here and then sent the damage. We don't want to do this in this case. We actually want to only connect the other actor to the object. So we're actually going to get rid of this player character and we're only going to do anything on the overlap of the actual box, of the pumpkin itself. So what should happen now is if I had to do damage to the character, so let's kill him off. I should already change the value. So now he should die. Now if I shoot, it will go through all those pumpkins and not do any damage to me at all. Okay, but if I do jump into the pumpkin, obviously that's going to kill me. Okay, as we have set up the game to do that. All right. So overall, you can see that the damage system is taking place. All we did is we made a new blueprint for the bad man. We put the sprite in with a collision box around the sprite. 
Obviously, we need those two collisions to um, hit each other, okay? And in the event graph, we just set up his damage system, so how much damage he'll take, okay? In this case, um, we set his health to 100 in this variable. So we made a variable, which was an integer to 100 value. We then said, okay, his health minus any damage that's coming in, then reset his value. If it was greater or less than zero, then obviously destroy the, the, the character, so i.e. the bad man. Okay, or if not, it printed a string. This was just for debugging to show you that he is taking damage. Okay, then all we did was we went to our bullet. Okay, we had to add this collision sphere, remember? Very important to add the sphere. Okay, so the collision sphere. We then said on begin overlap, right? So on the overlap. And then all we did was we said, okay, on overlap, we're going to cast the bad man. All right, we're going to send the damage to the bad man. Okay, and the damage we're going to send in is five. Okay, and then once he's been hit and the five damage is taken, we're then going to destroy the bully. And then we came across a problem that the pumpkin was a bit of an issue. So all we did is we removed the player controller here and just stuck that into the other actors, um, into the component overlap box here. And that allowed the bullet to then pass through um, the objects um, that were in the way. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And the whole system works perfectly fine. So if we carry on shooting him, um, he'll then start taking damage. Obviously, you take that print string off during your game, and then obviously he'll die. The bullets then travel through the boxes, and that's pretty much it. Okay? Again, thank you very much for you guys for joining me. I wanted to show you one thing just before I, I left, okay? Um, and this is just progress for you guys. Uh, let's, um, so let's just open up um, um, Reddit. Okay. Um, I posted on the um, Reddit page of the Unreal Reddit page. I don't know if anyone's ever been to this page before. Um, very nice community in here. Um, I haven't found any problems with these guys. Obviously, give them a hand if if you know any of these questions or if anyone asks something, obviously, give them a shout. Um, it's just the Unreal Engine um, Reddit page. But the thing I'm really proud about is that they have now put me um, as their 2D side-scroller guy here, which I'm very proud of. And thank you very much for that person that has done that. If you watch this video, I cannot thank you enough for putting me on here um, just to, I mean, I always want to give back to the community. So again, thank you very much for whoever did that. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, it was glad to take you for this episode. In our next one, we're going to look at how to get the character to shoot back at you. It's a bit boring if the character's just standing there and taking um, deeps from you. Um, but we will set it up so he can shoot back at you. Um, it is very complicated. It's not easy to do this one. So it does get a little bit more harder now. Um, but we'll get to the point where um, the whole system is working. Thank you very much. I'm Wayne. It was nice taking for this episode. Please give me at least three likes for this video. Um, either comment, share with your friends, please follow me on Twitter, etc. I have got a surprise coming for you guys shortly with the vlog. Um, so make sure you keep it on, on the channel. Thank you very much. Nice taking you. See you again in the next episode.